Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in the previous video, we started with the script tab in the debugging mode and we are covering how to stop SAP debugger on selection of tables using the script tab. And in the previous video, we took the requirement and I show you if you know how to use the script tab you can reach up to the dedicated code. You can reach up to the dedicated point very effectively. Now, in this video, we will continue the first point and I will show you two things. How you can go for multiple tables, how you can use wild card characters also. Suppose, I will go to again MM03 transaction. I am just closing this. I will go to MM03 transaction. Suppose this is our material number. I will enter into the debugging mode through transaction code slash H. I will go for enter. Now I will not go for select. I will not put a breakpoint on select statement. I will simply use the script tab. You will be able to see the default script there. If I will click on to load script, you can see, okay, now we are getting this select tab because in the last video, we choose this. So this is coming. If you, we are not choosing this before that, this is coming like this. And we did the F4. Now it is coming because in the last video, we have chosen this. So I will go for this. I will go for OK. We saved the script. Now I will go for start script. Now here we can choose the multiple tables. Previously I showed you Mara. Suppose I want to go for Mara also. Now I will click on to this multiple selection button. Suppose we want to look for MAKT also. Because it might be the case, yes, you want to see the code for multiple tables. I will simply go for copy. I will go for execute. Now you can see, firstly, we are getting Mara table. This is our Mara. This is our Mara. Now we will simply, simply continue the script. I will choose basic data one. Now you can see we automatically reached onto MAKT now. So this is the way how you can stop onto multiple tables. See how effective it is. Previously you are going one by one. Now we are able to see everything together. Now I will simply do F8. Or you can see if you want to continue the script, anyways it will come out. Because we put only two tables. Yes. Now what I will do now I will show you how you can use wildcard character. Suppose I will go for simple example. You all know you have materials. You have materials. Materials for materials, we have so many tables. Suppose we have Mara table. We have MAKT table. We have MARC table. We have MARM table. We have MARD table. So these all are the tables. We have other tables also. Have you seen in all these tables, first two letter are common. M-A, 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 M-A. Suppose I will go for simple example sales order. We are going for sales order. So what are the tables for the sales order? VBAK is there. VBAP is there. VBKD is there. Suppose VBFA is there. So have you seen in all these tables, what are the first two letters common? VB. Suppose in this MM03 transaction course, you want to check what are the tables, what are the various tables which SAP is using to display the data. So what we can do? We can simply, simply put or we can simply use the script and we will go for start script and we will put MA star. So whenever you will put MA star, so system will show you all these things. Yes, 
anyway system should fetch the data from those table so we will be able to reach up to those things in a very very quicker manner so you can use wild card character and very very effective in the projects we use this particular thing suppose i want to check from where the SAP is using MARD table, MARM table. So I'll simply go for MA star. So it will show me each and everything one by one. Suppose I will go for the system and show you that demo. I'm going to MM03 transaction code. I'm going for some material. Suppose I'm going to debugging mode through slash H. I'm going for enter. And we will go for script tab. I will go to script tab. Now I will simply, simply click on to load script. Now this is already coming. Yes, if it is not coming, you can simply do F4 and you can see. I will go for OK. And you can check also in break slash watch point tab. We have a SAP has put a break point on select. Now I will go for script tab. Now I will click on to start script. Now I will simply simply put here M A star. M A star means it will consider Mara, M A K T, M A R C, M A R D, M A R M each and every table. I will go for execute. And you can see firstly, the system stopped onto Mara, stopped onto Mara. I will continue the script. I will choose basic data one. I will go for OK. Have you seen system automatically now coming onto MAKT? I will continue the script. Now you can see system is automatically coming on to MARM. I will continue the script. Now system is again coming on to MARM. I will continue the script. Now we are able to see the output. There is no use of MARD and MARC here because we do not have company code data. It must be there, yes, to fetch the data from MARC and MARD. So this is the way how you can go for wildcard characters also. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you two things. Yes, if you want to go for or if you want to see where the SAP has written the logic from multiple tables, suppose you want to go for Mara, you want to go for MAKT. So you can simply click on to start script tab. And you can pass them multiple tables. Now, it might be the case you want to go for all the tables. Then in that case, we can use the wildcard characters also. Now, we all know whenever we have material master tables, yes, in all these tables, first two letters are common. Mara, MAKT, MARC, MARN, MARD. First two letters are common. So I can simply, simply put the, this, I can load the script. I can start the script for MA star. So system will automatically stop onto all these things. And after that, I took the example of this also. Suppose you are going for VA03 transaction code. Then at that time, you can simply, simply put onto VB star. You can start the script for VB star. So this is very, very effective feature. How you can use script tab to reach up to a dedicated table where SAP has written the logic to fetch the data. Now in the next video, I will show you how we can use the script tab for the updation of database table. Updation of database table means insert, update, delete, modify all those database cooperation. This part will be covered in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.